Carol Shelby Chili Mix. Why not? This keeps on going. Check that out. by Carol Shelby. Good morning, everybody. It's Matt, Driver Studio, coming live at you this morning on this beautiful Saturday morning at my buddy's awesome shop. Super gracious to have us out here. I figured I'd just start here and show you a little bit. He's got cool stuff all over this place. Just super, super neat stuff. We'll, we'll touch on all that in a minute. The real reason why we're here though, is to peep out this wicked 240. So, this is the race car. Getting this thing ready to go. Driver Studio is gonna be repping hard on this thing. Got some blend action going on. Had a little bit of rub, some nasties, kissed a couple things, but it's coming back. You guys spraying this like in the next 15 minutes kind of thing. You guys are ready. Yeah. All right there, man. Yeah. No, this is looking good. Jay, you want to put paper here? It almost looks like they know what they're doing. No. <laughs> no, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, cool thing is he actually has a complete other body. So he's had this car. You bought this car last season, right? Are you being in the last season? Last season. Yeah. Okay. One race in the last year. Gotcha. Yeah. So things happen. And now he's getting it ready. He's going to be having some fun with it real soon here. Getting it back out on the track. Super cool car. Also got some other really cool stuff out here too. So we'll start over here. This under here, it's buried a little bit, but you can see it poking through. Awesome, awesome 66 convertible. Check this thing out. Beautiful car, beautiful car. Now this right here, this blew my mind. This is actually from Carol Shelby's shop. Big, big, big Cobra fans. A lot of cool stuff out here. Check that out. Now we'll pop back a little bit. I'm not gonna go super crazy on this one, but we'll pull it up just a touch. For my Ford fans out here. This is a 62 and a half 406 tri-power car. Yeah, if you want to. I love these wheels on this thing too. They're uh, PS Engineering GT40 wheels. Oh man. I don't know if you guys caught that. He just said those are PS Engineering GT40 wheels. You know what? Yeah. Cool shots. I'm a big Cobra fan myself. I do love Cobras. One of these days I'm gonna own one. Just a kid car, that's all I can afford. I don't have that kind of money yet. Maybe one day. Subscribe below, make me some money. I got that same light in my shop, too. Let me know if you want to raise it lower and get it out of the control of the bottom. Race car life. I love this. <laughs> it's just doors and cubbies and nooks and. Man. Awesome shop. Look at this. Even a race car bathroom. Golly. But to me, this is like my dream shop. This place is awesome. Super, super cool. Westinghouse refrigerator. Look at the trailster. Look at that. I know we don't normally do motorcycles, but hey. All right. 
without further ado, let's pop in on this thing. Look at the patina on this thing. It's all cleared. 31 coup. Sneaky suspicion this shop has housed some awesome, awesome hot rods and race cars in the past. Right now, he says it's a mess because they're working on the 240, but there's other cars outside. And as you see, like with this 31, this one's just kind of tucked off to the side to stay clean while they're doing the bodywork and panel the 240. But, you know, and then the other stuff's all covered in the back corners. Get another shot of the 240. And you guys see the, the trophies up there. TV, you gotta have a TV on your shop. It's not a shop without a TV. Or two, maybe three. Hot Rod Alley, don't give me too much of a hard time if I put a third one out there. I might need to go bigger. Get a little bit closer to this cage work. Yeah, when you're racing, that's your door. Just before we're gonna check out a couple more outside. Here we go. So there's the trailer. Makes it all happen. I don't know if you heard earlier, you're saying he's got 175 inch or something like that race ramps to get that car in because that 240 is so low. Geez, beautiful view out here too.
how long have you, your family been in this house doing race cars? Because I, I was noticing years. the pictures on the wall. Years. Okay, so a lot of those cars in the pictures have been here. Yeah, I started out with a 65 Shelby. Okay. Open tracked it and then turned it into a full bone race car. And then he w we wanted a play car, so that's when we got the Falcon. And we bought the Falcon from Mike Eddy, who is Edelbrock's mechanic. Okay. And then uh, had uh, one of 10 Carroll Shelby team notchback Trans Am Mustangs ran. Jeez. And then a uh, Trans Am Boss 302 that was ra raced by Jim Harrell. Jeez, please. Was your dad an acquaintance of Carroll Shelby? Did you get to meet him? Never did? He met him. Yeah. Uh, Dave Drowley, the guy that originally built our cars, he used to race back in the day and as a small guy would beat all the Ford production cars. Yeah. So he actually did a lot of the development for the Cobras and the Shelbys. And he restored my dad. My dad had the very first red Cobra ever built. Really? Yeah. Uh, CSX 2165. It's in one of the museums somewhere around here. Is that the one that that hand-painted license plate came from? I don't I, know. I think that's what... Well, I know the license plate said it's real. Yeah, yeah. And then he had a blue one that said real one. Huh. And then they had a light blue one that said it's real too. <laughs> How cool, man. Pictures are hit with his cars. How'd your dad get the red one? Um, probably from Dave. Or Dave knew a guy. This is the blue one of my grandpa. Um, there's a picture here. That's pretty cool. Right here. So this is the first time in who knows 60 years or whatever that. Ferrari shook hands with Carroll Shelby. Wow, and you guys got a picture of it on your wall. Like, it's just, oh, those are my kids swimming yeah. for the first time when they're three. Because there's the 250, and then there's the real Daytona Coupe. You guys got the Ford versus Ferrari history right here on the wall. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man. How cool. And it all started with that truck. That's the very first one ever that we did. Really? Yeah. Man.
yeah, the history of the cars that have been through this shop is freaking awesome. Really cool stuff. And just like we always promote on Driver Studio, real car people really working on their stuff at home in the garage and the shop. I love it, Perry. Super cool place, man. Even got, man, you got the auction going the whole night. Well, you know what, everybody? I think we're going we're gonna to get out of here. We're going to let them get back to work. Watch a little bit of Barry Jackson before I bounce. But we appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming out, everybody. You know where we're at, Driver Studio. We'll catch y'all next time. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit more fun in a little bit. We might uh, help with their, their sponsor. So yeah. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Driver Studio, out.